actually, if you go around, you ask people, even from other industries or other companies, competing companies even, go and ask them, who is the best coach? And they will say, me. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We're gonna jump through some of these clips from RST Madison's retirement video and show what a fucking idiot he is, okay? And how he has massive delusions of grandeur thinking he's like the fucking number one coach and number one pickup guy and all this shit, okay? So let's jump right into it. And I can't even think about where I would be in my life without that community, man. Without it, I might've been on the side of a road somewhere like dead. Uh, I would have been depressed. Without the community, man, I would have been dead. I would have been slinging crack on the streets, man. I would have just been nobody, and now I'm really cool. Can Martin Luther King poster on the background here. All right, so let's continue. I would have just been stressed out of my mind. I wouldn't have felt like... Ben Franklin? What was that, Rembrandt? <laughs> Quite the collection here. Pocket Square or whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. I wonder who he works for. Oh yeah, that little fucking redhead guy, Tyler. I knew that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. I just would have been abs- Oh my God, a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, keep in mind, this fucking idiot has been massively scamming for years. Okay, he's part of the biggest scam operation in the pickup industry that has been keeping you on a hamster wheel, disgracefully selling you 30 products in boot camps and packs of four, okay? And he, first of all, he's going he's gonna to go into how he thinks he's like the savior and the master. Mm. He's working for a guy that full fabricates results, that fakes infields, that scams his ass off every which way. Okay, Madison's a nobody. Nobody gives two fucks about Madison, nor will they ever. Okay, but here, let's, let's hear what the delusions of grandeur involve here. Absolutely hopeless. Imagine me, this artist, right? Then going into like business. That was a little bit strange for me. You know, imagine me, this artist who joined a scam operation and decided to just start fucking ripping off tons of impressionable young men and being part of a cult. OK, let's see what that entails. Going to this business, because as an artist, what I want to do is just create. I want to make the best content for you that's possible. I just want to create masterpieces, cinematic uh, adventures for you to watch deep content you would never get anywhere else. I want to take you on the rabbit hole. I just want to give it to you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, but the facts are that you've churned out zero advanced guys. Okay, no one that takes your training gets good. Guys are taking 12 boot camps with your piece of shit, dog shit company. Okay, yes. Dog shit, piece of shit. Heard it here. So, this fucking idiot thinks he's like, you know, changing the world and all this stuff and, and, and creating masterpieces and we're diving deep down the rabbit hole and all this stuff. Okay, let's look at the facts. Your students all fucking below. Why do people need 30 products? Why do people need 12 boot camps? Okay, you're part of the biggest scam operation in the history of pickup, congratulations. But then there's also the business side of it. And the business side doesn't business allow me side. to always do what I wanna do as an artist. So the business side doesn't allow me to actually give guys the answers and to actually teach them stuff as an artist. Okay, it only allows me to confuse them and trick them and scam them. Sometimes that business side holds me back. I made it a goal for myself, not just to be the best at this, but to literally be the best teacher that I can find on earth. Okay, the best pickup artist in the world, the best teacher on earth. Why is it that no one gives a fuck about you? Why is it that your name is even mentioned ever when talking about advanced or elite guys, ever? Okay, not just now and then. It's never mentioned. You are not part of any of those discussions because your game is trash, confirmed by countless inside sources, and your teaching is trash. Okay, but now he's, I've made it my goal to not only be the best ever, but also the best teacher, period. And then he later can compares himself to Michael Jordan. Get the fuck out of here. I would go and work with other teachers, learn from them, mentor with other teachers to become the best teacher. I was obsessed oh with teaching, not just how good looking the video, but the actual like art of teaching. I made sacrifices that you will never know about. I made sacrifices you will never know about, such as taking it deep in the asshole. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? He's making all these weird references, sacrifices that you'll never know about, right? Yeah, like sacrificing your entire value system to massively rip off people and, and be part of, of the biggest cult in the whole industry. Is that what kind of sacrifice? 
He, he later talks about being part of secret societies that he can't mention on camera. Okay, this guy's a fucking basket case. In order to become the best teacher possible. <laughs> Dare I say, one of the best teachers possible. Dare I say, one of the best teachers possible. Let's put it this way, Madison. I know you'll watch this. You are a nobody in the community, okay? You never were. No one ever cared about you. I've never even mentioned you once in any of my videos talking about RSD. You're basically like Ozzy equivalent, okay? RSD, Ozzy, oh, yeah, he's just another coach. Nobody gives a shit, okay? You never were relevant. You never will be relevant. He's, he's talking about how he, his legacy will live on forever. And when he makes this comeback, it'll be like the biggest, you know, storm of, of uh, you know, people clamoring around like, oh, Madison's back. No one cares about it. Okay, he's not, this isn't Conor McGregor here. This is not Michael Jordan. This is a guy that sucks at game and sucks at coaching. Okay, And he's just trying to build himself up on, on this pedestal. But I don't even remember what the fuck he just said that I was coming on. Let me replay this here. Best teacher possible. Dare I say, one of the best teachers possible. I yeah, dare I say, one of the... It's <laughs> a nice freeze frame. Uh... <laughs> Some things I can't say on YouTube, but I'd love to make a few extra comments in here. Uh, so, uh, you know, one of the best teachers possible. This is, this is again, a full delusion, okay? This guy has not churned out any advanced people. His own game sucks, okay? He's an intermediate, and, he, and he's going on and on about, how, about all his great contributions to the community here. Perfected the art of teaching. Actually, if you go around, you ask people, even from other industries or other companies, Hold on. So now if you go, we got to replay this. If you go around and ask people in other industries and other companies, who's the best? They're going to tell you Madison. Teaching. Actually, if you go around, you ask people, even from other industries or other companies, competing companies even, go and ask them who is the best coach. And they will say me. Full fabrication. Erroneous. From Wedding Crashers. Erroneous. No one would say that. Who? Show me any, show anyone that's any, uh, that's ever said that in the comments. Show me a forum link. Show me a video link. He's not even discussed. He's not even in the, in the realm of, of advanced or, or elite. It's like Evolution Daily, right? He puts this banner, number one coach in the whole world. Okay, there's going to be a whole roast coming on him. I just haven't given much of a shit because he's stuck in intermediate purgatory. And guys comment and they're like, Anthony, what's intermediate purgatory? First of all, for all of you that think my name is Anthony, that's the surname in the in the fucking in the name there the name is john okay john j-o-h-n I, I get called anthony in the comments and in the in people that email me more often than john hey anthony uh yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> what does it mean intermediate purgatory it means he's fucking shitty at game and he's stuck in the middle and he's not graduating too advanced anytime soon probably never okay now we have another fucking delusion of grandeur. If you go and ask around uh, to any coach, they're going to say that Ma RST Madison, the nobody, is the best that ever did it. He even uses those terms when, he, when he's talking about Mike. I want Michael Jordan. <laughs> I wanted to be like Mike. I want to be the best that ever did it. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know if you ever heard the term, your favorite rapper's okay. favorite rapper. You know, but you might have a rapper to baby. You might like, I don't know, J. Cole or something. But you ask him who his favorite rapper is. He's going to tell you somebody you didn't expect. He's yeah. So, OK, now now the analogy being made is that if you were to ask J. Cole, OK, let's say Madison's a rapper. If you're like, hey, J. Cole, hey, the baby, who do you think is the best rapper? Their answer is going to be RSD Madison. OK, it's like if, if it's like if someone asked me like, hey, who's the best coach in the game? OK, or, or someone asked anyone else that was very good in the game, which is hardly anyone. Who's the best coach? Oh, RST Madison, right? Okay, these are all baseless arguments that have no proof whatsoever. This is, he's just blowing a whole lot of hot air, but what it's revealing is very fascinating. This guy's built up massive delusions of grandeur. Here he was in like some little corner of a, of a massive, massive, massive scam operation. As I said, the biggest scam operation in the whole industry thinking that he's just like the ultimate coach of all time. And say Andre 3000, he's gonna say Nas, he's gonna say Immortal Technique. In a lot of ways, that's what I felt like I was. I... So now he, he's Andre 3000, he's Immortal Technique. The unsung hero that, that is just plugging away in the shadows and creating the best pickup artist on earth. No, fabrication, get the fuck out. Was the favorite coach of most coaches, right? And that's not to take away from anybody that is a legend in this industry. Right here, here's the legend of the industry and mystery in, in, in his time uh, before he failed to evolve and optimize a system and got left in the dark in the low 300 count. There is absolute legends, okay? There's three that I can think of. He says there's three legends he can think of, okay? I, for sure, am on that list. 
Okay, I, I don't think anyone's even close to me. All the best guys I know in the industry that ha that have been doing real counts, okay, are between the 400 lay count and 600 lay count range. That's a fact. Okay, it's not even half of my of what I've accomplished in the game. Okay, except for there's a new contender recently who's claiming 1,200 count. Okay, fresh fresh prince CEO who I just learned about recently, Myron Gaines, his business partner, who's also a nobody. Okay, Myron Gaines is not even at 200 count yet. And now Fresh Prince CEO, who's just another fucking loud mouth, you know, blowing hot air, <laughs> spitting on the, on the camera. Uh, he's claiming to be 1,200. All he's doing is just riding off of a real count from a real player, a master player in the game, myself. Okay, I'm at 1337 at the time of this recording. Oh, yeah, I'm about 1,200. Full bullshit. I'm going to make a video about that soon. Okay, just like when RST Tyler revealed his count, I was coming up by 900. RST puts out a video, RST Tyler, where he, he's in a video with Luke saying, hey, uh, I'm gay here with Luke. Okay, topic for another day. And he says, oh, I've been with about 800 to 900 girls. And guys are like, oh, J-Moff, John Anthony, look, uh, RST Tyler, similar lay count as you. No, he's fucking not. He was at 50 not that long ago. Okay, and he's just trying to ride off of a real count from a real master in the game and just be a copycat fucking loser. Okay, now that's what Fresh Prince CEO is doing. Oh yeah, I'm at 1,200 layers. Isn't that convenient that that's close to my count and that no one's ever fucking heard of the guy and his game fucking blows. And also that the top best guys are at around half my count. Anyways, I can name three, he says. Uh, the, the, the next best two people after myself are in the underground community that don't even have a YouTube presence. I'm good friends with anyways, but I'm not talking about the GOAT, the greatest of all time. I'm talking about the greatest right now. Who is the greatest right now? Who is the best in their prime in this moment? Okay. For the last few that's me undisputed. There's nobody that even fucking holds a candle to my skills. My best year was 246 in a year. My best weekend was 18 in three days. I have videos on both those topics. Uh, I don't know anyone even close whatsoever except for rock stars and athletes, okay? So that is, that is undisputed. Two years. Not who was the best 10 years ago. Who was the best now? Who is giving the most evidence of that now? Con and I'm giving the most evidence. Look, he's like, who is showing the most proof? Who's showing the most results? Me. No one else comes close. Everyone else fucking treats results like it's like a, a taboo topic. Like, like, like I showed in the Coach Kyle video. Coach Kyle has like 200,000 subs. I showed in the Coach Kyle video. Here's a group chat screenshot from me and Alex from Playing the Fire and Coach Kyle. And Coach Kyle is saying, <clears throat> or I say, hey, Coach Kyle, <laughs> first time talking as a kid. What's your lay count? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Alex is laughing. LOL. Oh, we, all, we, we saw that coming a mile away, right? It, it's like it's some really strange taboo thing. That's how everyone always treats when, when you ask someone. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. It's it's a pretty weird question to ask. Like, how many girls you banged, and like, you know, how much, like, what percentage were hot? Very weird question, right? And it turns out to be 120. And I, I made a whole video about that. I hit that almost 10 years ago. So I'm a decade beyond this guy. And anyways, is he saying who's putting out the most proof, the the most evidence, uh, the, you know, the the most results in in periods of time? That's me. No one else has co comes close. And then people will say, oh, it's arrogant. You're so full of yourself. You're narcissistic, okay, but it's also objective facts. It's giving the most evidence of that now, continually, right? A lot of things in this industry as well go by marketing, which are just absolutely ridiculous marketing claims. Ridiculous marketing claims, like your boss saying 800, 900 girls, like your boss saying he's taking girls home when myself personally and other people have witnessed him going into his hotel room alone, like your boss saying he's been approached a couple times a day even when he's not dressed well, like your boss saying that he's up all night fucking and waking up late in the day to a whole bunch of texts of stunners just begging to, for him to come get banged. Yeah, every stunner wants a little fucking redhead wearing army camo, indoor sunglasses, and fucking flannel shirts, okay, that, that, that's mostly losing his hair. That's just every stunner's dream, okay? And, and he, he, how dare he fucking talk about, like, ridiculous marketing claims when his, when his fucking company is public enemy number one for full fabrication and scamming. They use critical thinking, they don't actually compute. And I'll go into that in a moment. Oh, if you use critical thinking on these dumb marketing claims, they don't compute. But I worked for that company who was the biggest offender of that of all time. Another thing that I wasn't happy about. It was like fucking Todd, right? Todd's like, to, like, when Todd left RSD, Todd put out his fucking wiener game bullshit. 
I'll, I'll even roll the clip here in a second. And he's saying like, oh, social circle game is BS. Uh, the concept of being a natural is BS. Uh, do looks and step money and status matter? Of course they matter. What are you, stupid? And he, he's basically denouncing all the shit that he was pushing for like 10 years. All the shit that he was like dogmatically pushing as mantras. And then when he leaves the company, now he can be honest with you. Oh yeah, go sign right up. Not to mention that his technical game is a fucking full-on nightmare. And I get to deal with the aftermath when guys fuck... <laughs> guys fucking suck absolute shit in his program. They come to me, hey, can you fix all this? And they're doing countless things wrong because Todd told them to. And they're, one of, they're some of my hardest students. And that's why I'm always fucking ranting about these guys. They're, they're setting them way back. Right? But Todd comes out now after there's RST. Oh, yeah, all that stuff that I was preaching to you guys, by the way, that's all BS. Right? Now, now Madison is retiring. Like, who gives a flying fuck? And he's saying, oh, well, uh, yeah, if, you know, all these marketing, if you just take a, a closer look at uh, some critical thinking, you can debunk it all. Oh, okay. Thank you. But, but thanks for being part of that massive scam operation. We're all so sad to see you go. We can't wait for your comeback. Now, was not being at the forefront of some conversations that are happening socially, okay? There's some things that are happening that I can't speak about, some movements that are happening, whether it be, you know, a certain color of a pill. There's some movements that are happening, you know, a certain color of a pill. You know, it's basically like, he can't weigh in on like the red pill, blue pill, black pill bullshit, like I can, for instance, because he's like bound by like this, you know, they have to like maintain face in the RSD scam operation, right? So he's, these fucking paint, these fucking photographs or whatever they are in the background are like totally, totally off, off the wall. Like, look at this guy. That fits right into his delusions of grandeur. What it was, he's probably like, yeah, I'm like Ben Franklin and, and Martin Luther King and all this shit. What, what the fuck is he even doing here? Whether it be a certain men's direction, whether it be a certain woman's direction. He's talking about men going their own way or some shit, probably. Basically, he can't speak his mind. He's censored because he's he's part of a scam operation that has to maintain an image. Whether there be a certain uh, thing that's happening politically, there's things that I couldn't talk about, right? And I wanted to talk about those things. I thought they were relevant to the conversation. But because I'm not just looking out for myself, I'm looking out for a whole team here. I got to protect my whole scam team here. See, we have a, a cult figurehead who is using the same marketer that Derek Moneyberg is using. And the directives are, <laughs> look at his face. Picturing, picturing him looking at me right now while I'm saying all this. Uh, so we have like a full scam operation. What is all that shit? We have a full scam operation and uh, we, need to, we need to protect, you know, we need to protect all the team members here. So, so we can't go outside the lines. Okay, the team that I'm a part of, looking out for the betterment of the whole team. It's about everybody moving forward. It's about protecting the cult. I align myself with certain societies that I can't even talk about on camera right now. I've aligned myself with secret societies that I can't even talk about on camera right now. We do weird stuff like jerk each other off in the dark. Okay, and certain organizations that I'm a part of. I'm part of certain organizations so that... Yeah, that's not shady as fuck. You know, I was thinking about this retirement thing, and um, the idea of Michael Jordan popped in my head as I got older. Here we go with the Michael Jordan. I realized what he was doing. I realized that the the story of Michael Jordan isn't that he retired. It's that he came back that made him a great. That he came back and he won several more championships after that. Okay, first of all, it's like, uh, let's take a retard in a wheelchair. This is my favorite analogy and put him on the basketball court, that's you, okay? That has nothing at all in the same realm or category or even planet as Michael Jordan, okay? You didn't do shit in the game, your game sucks. You didn't do shit as a coach, your fucking students suck. And now you're gonna try to like say, oh look, he's even calling his product like legacy. Oh, the legacy collection. No one gives a fuck about your legacy. And then he's gonna come back and everyone's like, highly anticipating his return and this gonna be the greatest comeback in the pic this is all in his own mind i hope you guys are realizing this no one gives a fuck about this guy i've literally never even mentioned him once in any video <laughs> like people send me dirt on him <laughs> i might just like roast him after his retirement just to be funny but no one gives a fuck about this guy he's tantamount to ours ours the ozzy it's basically like a no name 
And he's like, oh, everyone's going to, I'm going to be even greater when I return. No one cares that he's leaving. No one cares that he was there in the first place. And no one sure as fuck gives about a fuck about his return. Right. That's what makes Michael Jordan probably the best that's ever done it. How he came back after he retired. That is the, the legend right there. And that's what I've thought about. So, yeah, so now it sounds like his retirement is motivated as just like building up a comeback. It's one of those things where you see on YouTube where even like CoffeeZilla made like a, a joke about it. Oh, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm, I'm quitting the Internet. Like it, these guys do this so they can push a sale. And, and note later on, he mentions he's still going to run boot camps all year. Oh, I'm retiring. Like RST Tyler as of, since 2012. Oh, we're leaving the pickup world. Right. Okay. That never happened. They're still running boot camps actively. There was just an ad that, that was served for the Miami Summit teaching pickup. But oh, we're leaving pickup. We're leaving pickup. It's just it's it's so that they can tell you every fucking year. Oh, this is our last year. You better get in. Be, it was your last chance. It's just traditional scamming marketing scarcity. Okay. Oh, it's the last one. There's one spot left. Oh, that's the last program. It's been the last program for a decade. Okay. In in and now. Not only is it the last program, but you get to buy it in packs of four. Congratulations. Or on Derek's program, you, you, get, you get to run around with coaches that are sales guys to be upsold on two more programs, right, that are going to really massively advance you, okay, as he brings his busted girlfriends around and just gets drunk in the corner while the guys just run around being upsold. 40 guys in a club being upsold by other sales guys to take two more completely worthless bullshit programs. Yes, this is our industry here. And we're losing one of the best, if not the best, I venture to say, the best coach ever. With his career and his industry and our relationship, I've thought about when I come back. Oh my God, hold on. Moment of silence. Let's think about for when he comes back. Like you can see, like you can get into his head here. I hope you're getting this. Oh, he's deciding to leave so he can make this massive comeback. Okay. No one fucking cares, Madison. I'm going to email this to him personally, and I hope he responds so we can discuss that in a video. What that's going to look like. But for this moment, I will be retiring the old material. All right? All that old stuff. Oh, he's retiring the old material. What? That, that makes zero sense. Okay? It's supposed to be some of the greatest material on the planet in, <laughs> in regards to dating, and it can be yours for the, for the low, low price. Will be gone. This is the last you're going to see of it. So this is the last you'll ever see of my old material, so buy all of it, and then I'm going to continue to run boot camps all year, and I'm going to make a comeback, which is going to be another marketing ploy, and maybe I'll even unlock all my old material again and sell it as another comeback price. Enjoy it now while it's here. Enjoy it now while it's here. This is my final boot camp year. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what Tyler and Derek have been saying for the last decade. We could only hope. Please, 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 please be true. Please stop polluting the community with, with utter fucking trash, please. My absolute final boot camp here. Oh, really? Would you like to put that in writing so we can fucking sue you when you when you make when you make your grand comeback and, and decide to mislead guys again? In the future, I'm sure people will look back and be jealous that you had an opportunity to get something like this because In the future, people will look back and be jealous that you, that's right, you, had the opportunity to touch on this greatness known as RST Madison, the greatest pickup teacher of all time, okay? Yes, if you wanna make all your friends jealous, go get those programs. Like what, are you fucking kidding me? This is, this is like, when I was laughing my ass off when I watched this. This is like so far out in left field from reality, it's not even funny, okay? But, but the, impressionable, the typical impressionable young man or RST Madison fan, if that's even a thing, is gonna be like, oh my God, Oh my God, it's like Michael Jordan leaving basketball. I need to jump on this opportunity, make my friends jealous, and be taught by the greatest coach of all time. It won't be available. It'll be like a story that people talk about. Like a it's gonna be a story that people talk about. Legend that happened once in the day. A legend, a tale. Oh, do you remember back in the day when you had access to the Madison Legacy content? Oh yes, I do. I do remember that. Oh my God, I am so jealous, man. Like, like people are gonna be sitting around like a like a campfire, being like, "Oh my god, like, he's this is like the most grandiose fucking steaming pile of shit I've ever heard." So I wanted to you know make that available um, right now because I thought it'd be a really just amazing way to bring an end to this particular chapter. I just wanted to make this all available now to bring an end to this chapter. 
Okay, what the fuck is he even talking about? There was what chapter? There wasn't even a fucking book. It, it was one page. Hello, I'm part of a scam operation. My game fucking blows. My coaching fucking blows. Uh, but here, buy into the dream. Uh, get it while it's la get it while it lasts, so you can be part of the magic and the fairy tale and the legend known as RST Madison, the best that's ever done it. You don't believe me? Go ask any other dating coach. They're gonna all say it's RST Met. What? Who says that? Show me one coach that says that. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be some total fucking idiot if that's even true. I, I doubt any coach would ever say that. Content. And somehow you found a oh, way. And, and, now, and now we have... <laughs> yeah, this is one of my... Yeah, don't worry, we're wrapping up soon here. Now we have 30 seconds of cult footage, okay? Where, where they're basically just using cult tactics to stir up euphoria. Get everyone very excited riding emotional high notes and waves so that they can get out their wallet and if they try to leave they get singled out blasted with ridicule and high pressure sales tactics and they have to pass through all these fucking people at the end that are all going to try to sell them and meanwhile tyler has some fucking queer thing in his ear and that is very impressive <laughs> that is commendable okay and i look forward to us doing even more of it in the future you know i really believe that we did god's work here and that's a funny literally I have no words for this I really believe that we did God's work. God really sent down a message from the heavens that <laughs> look at his fucking smile. God sent down a message from the heavens. Here, let me let me let me get up next alongside this one of the greats. I feel honored here to be to be to be shown on the same screen as the greatest coach of all time. Okay, here now now. <laughs> Actually, let's do it this way. Here, hold on. Let me let me make it complete here. Connect my shoulders. Okay, here we are. Now, now I'm RST Madison for a moment. I really feel this was God's purpose and God's work that we were able to come down and shed light and give these poor young men a, a, a uh, full scam system so that they can continue buying more and more products and more and more trainings. And don't worry, I'm leaving now, so buy all the content before it goes away. Be part of the magic, be part of the legend, the greatest coach of all time. But don't worry, I'm running boot camps the rest of the year, and I'm going to make a comeback. And I've been thinking about that comeback, and it's going to be the greatest thing that's ever happened to pick up. Oh my god. I fucking hang myself to this. At least it's funny. Anything to say to bring spirituality into this. But footage. like, where else would you have gone, right? Yeah. Where else would you have gone to? Where else would you have gone? Yeah, this is the closing. Where else would you have gone? Look at his face. Where else would you have gone to learn this stuff if not for us? Keep in mind, we don't churn out any advanced guys ever. But where else would you have gone? You know, we're, we're the only people here that are mass pushing Facebook and YouTube ads and, and, uh, and you know, this free tour model where we're just, you know, like a, like a ravenous poison, like a viral plague across, across all men across the globe, misleading everyone. But where else would you have gone? Okay, there's no one that's actually pushing a tried and true, optimized, systematic process that you can just plug into and start annihilating with and getting better results than even the classic advanced guys that have been in the community for 10 years. You know, where else would you have gone? Okay, let's hear, let's hear this, this fucking bullshit message. To bring spirituality into this, but like, where else would you have gone, right? Where else would you have gone to found out how to like communicate with the opposite sex? Where else would you have gone to like handle some demons and insecurities? Where else would you have gone to lose all your money and, and went, go backwards in progress in the game? Where else would you have gone? That, that, that's the proper argument of RSD, of course. We needed you for that. Where else would you have gone to be a part of a community, to join a movement? Where else would you, you have gone to get straightforward information that nobody held back in giving you? straightforward information that nobody held back and given you that couldn't be further from the truth where else would you have gotten this where else would you have gotten this oh i don't know from a guy that spent 20 years fucking optimizing the best system in the world which is myself anyways it's been fun uh please subscribe below if you're not already a subscriber please jump on a free 30 minute call with me if you'd like to get very good at this very fast the link is in the description for that it's been a blast Thank you everyone for joining and I'll see you on the next video. And Madison, you are beyond fucked in the head. Take care everyone. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.